Believe it or not, mosquitoes do have a place in our ecosystem, or so I'm told. But with the recent rains, it seems like they've gotten much worse and they've gotten bigger. There are a lot of different species of mosquitoes, 75 plus in Texas. So you might notice that some mosquito bites itch like the dickens for a minute and then they're gone the next day or they itch later and you're like, when did I get bit by that mosquito? It's different species, different proteins that you're reacting to. And therein lies the problem. Different repellents repel different mosquitoes, requiring us to do some trial and error. When you kill a mosquito on your arm, let's say. Worst thing you could do. <laughs> is it bad? It is because then you're, what, what you react to yeah. is the saliva. So when you okay. smash them, you're putting all that saliva into you. The best thing you could do is let them do their thing and fly off. Good to know. And by now you've probably heard some theories about who in our population is most likely to get bit. So there was a study that was done that found that type O is more attractive to mosquitoes than other blood types. That's me. I'm O negative, but I do have a leg up in another category. Women will say that they get more bites than um, men do, and it's probably because of lotions, perfumes, hair products, that kind of thing. Chalk one up for the dudes. Oh, and give us another point. Turns out it's only lady mosquitoes that bite. Yeah, female mosquitoes are the only ones that need a blood meal because they need the protein in order to produce the eggs. So male mosquitoes, they're after nectar more than anything, and uh, so they may be pollinators. Lastly, what you wear matters too. Don't wear any dark colors like red. That will attract mosquitoes. Instead, opt for lighter colors like white or blue.